Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at turning something as simple as a question mark into a complex t-shirt design. Now sure this is a tutorial, I will be teaching you guys how to do it, but also this is meant for inspiration. It just goes to show you that sometimes the greatest designs are right under your nose. So this all started with a question mark and it ended up looking like this. Now this is a pretty cool t-shirt design and I'm going to go ahead and get started on teaching you guys how to make this right now. I'm going to minimize this and click on file new and I'm going to make a new image. I'm going to name it t-shirt design and I'm going to ma make it pretty big with 1000 pixels, height 1000 pixels and press OK. Now I'm going to separate this. Now the first thing I want to do is just choose the text tool and type a question mark. I already have a gray color selected for the question mark. Uh, for those of you wondering, the hex code for the gray color is 5C, 5C, 5C. Just type a question mark. And also what I'm going to do is click on layer, rasterize type. And that's going to rasterize this question mark. And I'm going to zoom in so you guys could see what I'm doing here. And what I'm going to do is duplicate this question mark three more times. So right click on the question mark layer, click on duplicate layer, OK, duplicate layer, OK, and duplicate layer, OK. Now I'm going to select the second question mark, uh, click Command T because I'm on a Mac, Control T if you're on Windows, and just flip it 90 degrees to the right. Press OK, and I'm going to line the dot from the question mark, from the second question mark up with the dot on the first question mark. And then let's select the third question mark layer, Command T, and let's flip this upside down. And let's line the dots up. And then fourth question mark, let's flip this 90 degrees to the left. By the way, if you hold Shift, it makes it a lot easier. And then now one more thing that I want to do is add a blue dot, make the center dot blue. I already have a blue color selected. Um, the hex code for it is 00688E. So I'm going to choose the rectangular tool and just pretty much make a blue square in the middle. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is hold shift and select all of the five of those layers. Right click and click merge layers. And just like that, we have one shape. Now what I'm going to do is, well, we need to do this multiple times. Right click on the shape, click duplicate layer, and press OK. There's going to be a lot of duplicating. Now what I'm going to do is, now we have two of these. So I'm going to hook the question mark, the bottom question mark from the first one uh, to the top question mark from the second one. And it should look something similar to this. Now I'm going to hold shift, select both of them, right click, and click merge layers. And then again, right click, duplicate layer, OK, and do that again. And hold shift, select both layers, right click, merge layers, right click on that one layer, duplicate layer, OK, and then I'm going to hook it to the right this time. And you just want to keep doing this until you have a lot of question marks. And I'm going to skip forward to save some time. And I'll see you guys in a second when I have all the question marks together. OK, so you want your final effect to look something like this. Just a bunch of question marks put together. And then what we're going to do now is open up a PSD file of a t-shirt. Now I have this one right here. If you guys want to use the same PSD file, uh, just scroll down. and I'll put the link to this in the video description below. Now what I'm going to do is take these question marks and just drag them onto this picture. I'm going to put them above the shirt. And what I'm going to do is double click on the shirt layer, click on the cover or overlay and change it to black and press OK. Press OK. And I'm going to hide the instructions that say put your logo here. And then I'm going to unlock this background layer, double click on it and just add a simple gradient overlay to it. Change the style to radial. Um, let's reverse this. Scale that up all the way. And let's instead of black, let's make this light gray. Press OK. OK. 
Okay, all right, now that we got that out of the way, let's focus on the shirt design itself. What I'm gonna do is select the question mark layer, click Command T and just crunch these question marks down to make them smaller. Zoom out. Command T and let's make these smaller. Hold Shift to make everything easier for you. And let's zoom back in. All right, now you're gonna have something that looks more or less like this. Now, what you wanna do is click Control or Command and click on the image of the shirt layer. And what that's gonna do is select the shirt. Now go to Select, Inverse, and just delete the rest of the question marks off of the shirt. And Command D if you're on a Mac, Control D if you're on Windows to deselect it. And now we have this t-shirt design. One last thing we need to do is zoom in and just erase um, the t-shirt design that's on the neck area. Just simply use the eraser tool and erase it. And let's zoom out and take a look at our final product. There you go. This is what the t-shirt design looks like. And to think this all started from a simple question mark and it wasn't even that hard to make and it looks pretty cool. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, don't let this limit you to just just question marks. I did, I've did. i already done it with exclamation points and different stuff like that. Use different symbols and use different things. And just keep in mind that you could always make cool designs from simple things like this. That's it for this video. This is Octotoots.com. And until next time, I will see you guys later.